Hello, our church. Hope that you're doing well and welcome to our online service. We're so excited to have you and also for what the Lord is going to be doing in our hearts wherever you're watching from. And we're going to be starting in some worship soon. Uh, but before that, let's just pray. So, Father God, I want to thank you for all of us, even though we're gathered digitally and not physically. We know that all of heaven is praising you. And so we just want to join in in that. And I pray that you would speak to our hearts um, during worship and also afterwards as we listen to the words. So we pray all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, let's sing. And I've got river of living water, a fountain that never will run dry. It's an open heaven. You're releasing, and we will never be denied. Cause we're stirring up deep, deep wells. We're stirring up deep, deep waters. We're gonna dance in the river. Dance in the river. Cause we're stirring up deep, deep wells. Stirring up deep, deep waters. We're gonna jump in the river. Jump in the river and deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to we cry out to we cry out to you Jesus and I have got river of living water a fountain that never will run dry it's an open heaven you're releasing and we will never be denied thank you lord because we're stirring up deep deep wells stirring up deep deep waters we're gonna dance in the river dance in the river because we're stirring up deep deep wells we're stirring up deep deep waters we're gonna jump in the river Jump in the river and deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to we cry out to we cry out to you Jesus I'm saying deep and deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to we cry out to we cry out to you Jesus we're falling into Deeper waters calling out to you. Oh, we're walking into deeper waters going after you. And falling into deeper waters calling out to you. If he goes to the left, then we'll go to the left. If he goes to the right, then we'll go to the right. We're gonna jump, 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 jump in the river. Jump, 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 everybody. If he goes to the left, then we'll go to the left. If he goes to the right, then we'll go to the right. We're gonna dance, 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 dance in the river. Dance, 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 everybody. If he goes to the left, then we'll go to the left. If he goes to the right, then we'll go to the right. We're gonna Jump, 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 jump in the river. Jump, 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 everybody. If he goes to the left, then we'll go to the left. If he goes to the right, we're gonna go to the right. We're gonna shout, 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 shout in the river. Shout, 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 everybody. And deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to. We cry out to we cry out to you, Jesus. 
and deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to we cry out to we cry out to you Jesus I saw my ashes but you saw your dream I saw an orphan but you're my family I saw my frailty but you saw your mind I saw my blindness but you were the light You gave me garments of praise fullness of joy unending mercy new every morning garments of praise fullness of joy unending mercy it's new every morning let's thank the lord this morning for his mercies that are new for us let's say i saw the water i saw the water but you saw the wine I saw dead branches But you were the vine I saw my weakness But you saw your blood I saw my failure But you were renowned You gave me garments of praise Fullness of joy Unending mercy You every morning of praise, fullness of joy, unending mercy, it's new every morning. I was lost till you called me up on name. Oh, I was down till you picked me up again. I was wrong till your love and made me right. I was dead, but you sent me back to life. Oh, I was lost till you called me out by name. And I was down till you picked me up again. Oh, I was wrong till your love and made me right. And I was dead. Till you send me back to life You give me garments of praise Fullness of joy Unending mercy New every morning Garments of praise Fullness of joy Unending mercy New every morning Garments of praise Fullness of joy, unending mercy, new every morning. Garments of praise, fullness of joy, unending mercy, it's new every morning. Precious is the one who bore my sin. How beautiful the hands that drew me in. The Savior of the world. The one who's not contained by time or space. The one who lit the stars and knows my name. 
the Savior of the world, the Savior of the world. Behold the risen Lamb of God, the sorner stone, our solid rock. Jesus, your name will echo through eternity. The one the hell could not contain, the one who left an empty grave. Jesus, your name will echo through How beautiful the song that heaven sings. Forever lifted high, we let it ring. The song of the redeemed, the song of the redeemed. Behold the risen Lamb of God, the cornerstone, our solid rock. Jesus, your name will echo through eternity. The one the hell could not contain, the one who left an empty grave. Jesus, your name will echo through eternity. Jesus, your name will echo through eternity. fire in his eyes, love in his veins, conquering king who's mighty to save. Demons acknowledge the powerful name of Jesus. Oh, fire in his eyes, love in his veins, conquering king who's mighty to save. Creation bows down to the powerful name of Jesus. Fire in his eyes, love in his veins, conquering king who's mighty to save. Forever and ever we sing out the name of Jesus. Behold the risen Lamb of God, the cornerstone of solid rock. Jesus, your name will echo through eternity. The one the hell could not contain, the one who left an empty grave. Jesus, your name will echo through eternity. Jesus, your name will echo through eternity. Jesus, your name will echo through eternity. Hope that you enjoyed that time of worship. And next, Pastor Fiona is going to be continuing off of her sermon last week, where she shared about being friends with our second choices and just helping us to walk more and more into what God has planned for us as his family and as part of his kingdom. So I'm really excited. Let's listen in with open hearts as we allow the Lord to speak to us. Here's Pastor Fiona. Well, good morning, church. How are you? I hope you're doing well. I'm having a really good week. Uh, we're going to continue on the series of loving choosing to be friends with your seconds uh, i don't know about you but i hope you went and did some action steps with it uh, with the further ado let's go right into the scriptures today we're actually going to talk um while you're being friends choosing to be friends with your seconds there's some spiritual principles that i want to teach us um while you're 
building relationships and building friendships because you never know maybe the people that you don't prefer ends up being your accountability partners that you end up being very close with them and so i just want to give you some tools and you're going to go act on it right come on and so we're going to go right into the scriptures hebrews 10 24 to 25 hebrews 10 24 to 25 and it says and let us consider how we might spur one another on toward love and good deeds everybody say love and good deeds not giving up meeting together has some in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another. Everybody say encouraging one another. And all the more has you see the day approaching. Mentioned, I don't know about you, but this scriptures definitely pumps me, especially during COVID, during this pandemic, because you know, while everybody's shut in and we need to gather with each other and how do we gather? And there's lots of Zoom meetings. I know a lot of you are like, I'm just so zoomed out. Uh, or video calls and everybody's trying to keep safe and all that but the scriptures didn't say that because there's a pandemic that we don't gather and so i want to encourage every single one of us that we would continue to have a good habit of gathering have a great habit actually of gathering whatever however dimension that you're able to make it possible and also with the scriptures it says let us consider how we may spur and one another towards love and good deeds you know a lot of times we can gather we can hang out even on Zoom, but the purpose of it and the forte of rebuilding relationship is so that we can encourage one another towards love and towards good deeds. So love isn't just towards each other, but our first first thing is love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul. And so how do we encourage one another to love the Lord our God with our heart and soul? And then we're able to love other people and then to do good deeds. So good deeds could, you know, just use your creativity good deeds could be everything anything that is considered a good deed and the scripture encourages us to not give up in meeting together uh because some of us are really good habit of doing it but to encourage one another and all the more as we see the day that's approaching and, and the scriptures what he means about what they mean about the day approaching is when jesus uh, come back and and for us and that's another topic for another day but however that we would continue to be in good habit of gathering and being in church and being together and zoom videos text message however way we're going to make it work some of us are going to be more comfortable coming out going for a walk or going for a coffee and some of us might not be and so we want to continue the good habit as we make choices to select and to choose to be friends with people that might not be out of your forte and while we're doing that, go to Ephesians 4.32. Ephesians 4.32 says, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as Christ forgave you. You know, I have to say, church, sometimes during the pandemic, some of you, you might only have been talking to a certain friend or certain group of friends, and you kind of cut off some people that, you know, you've been wanting to cut off from. Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying jump back in your toxic relationship because I don't want you doing that either. But however, consider that maybe... Uh, we need to enlarge our territory a little bit consider that we need to actually reach out to those people and remember how we were talking about that that we will be compassionate and kind to one another and to forgive and see thing is sometimes we don't talk to certain people anymore because there's some forgiveness that we need to do perhaps there's some people that offended you perhaps there's some relationship you need to mend you know i want you to be the one to go out and do that that you would choose forgiveness that you would choose uh, to take that big step to say, you know what, I, I, I'm going to go and I'm going to do some reconciliation. You know why? Because in James 5.16 says, confess and acknowledge how you have offended one another. Somebody, is it preaching to somebody? Come on. Confess and acknowledge how you have offended one another. And then pray for one another to be instantly healed. For tremendous power is released through the pas passionate, heartfelt prayer of a godly be believer. Um, are you a godly believer? Some of you are like, I'm not really godly. No, you're a godly believer, so speak that over yourself. But the scriptures actually tell us to be in a good habit about confessing and acknowledge how we have offended one of another. And then pray for one another to be instantly healed so that the power of God will be released through the passionate, heartfelt prayer of a godly believer. You know, God doesn't, isn't, God isn't, and it, God isn't, and doesn't. Um, wait for us to get our ducks lined up in a row, to have it all good, to pray. No, he just said pray. 
just speak it to life and so even more powerful as we confess to one another there's something about the power of confession and i'm not saying you go and find some random person to confess to but there's power in confessing to one another some of us might be more comfortable confessing to the people we trust the most and i totally get it and some of us don't have a problem confessing for different things and so whatever it is that you have a good habit of confessing to one another and especially if you offended one another you would just be able to lean into each other's heart right away you know a lot of times it's so easy for us to get caught up in the drama or we you know we get angry and 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 suddenly you you treating the person that you love with an arm's length huh and that you're just kind of waiting or like you know want to sleep over it i don't know you but nobody got good sleep if you if you got tensions going on especially the people that you really love too and so i want to encourage us you know god already said passionate heartfelt prayer of a godly believer i don't remember a single person who would pray for somebody that they absolutely is about and that it is heartfelt and it doesn't have to be a perfect prayer it doesn't even have to be like this i don't know some of us we think that we have to get it together again but the thing is the lord is saying just has to be a heartfelt prayer a heartfelt prayer of a believer and then the power of god comes the instantly heal prayers comes and the instant moments happens and so i want to encourage us that we would be the ones uh, to go out there and test it but here's the thing is it comes from the confession of our hearts so what is it church that there are things that you need to confess what are some of the people that you need to call or text and be like hey can we have a chat uh, maybe there is somebody that it's been a long time and you've been kind of putting it off and you're like i never want to talk to that person again but what if that is the one person the lord is saying no i actually want you to go and talk to that person and make it right and say you know i'm sorry and yeah a lot of times as a mature believer if you would be the one who has to go first you would have to be the one to say can we talk you would have to be the one to reconcile and hopefully they will want to reconcile with you now here's the thing what if that person you call you picked up your courage and that person is like you know what well, thanks but but no thanks then you leave it you leave them right where with jesus and let the lord take care of them but you don't harbor your feelings you did your part and you say all right god i did my part and this is where it's gonna be and they're not ready to reconcile so i'm gonna bless them and release them that's all you gotta do your part is to do what the lord has asked you to do never mind about how they're gonna react but i am praying that as you go and confess around one another especially those who have offended you that the that you experience exactly what the scripture says is healing the power of god comes upon you guys's life and that it will be heartfelt prayers for the both of you now continue on uh proverbs 27 17 proverbs 27 17 says has iron sharpens iron so one person sharpens another I don't know about you but if you know anything about swords but when you learn how to wield a sword sometimes depending on the weight of the sword is how you need to um stand how you stand is how you hold the sword how you attack how you don't attack how you pull out your sword how you put it back in you know all that stuff that's so important now the scriptures talk about iron sharpens iron it means that like you're jiving with somebody else some of us we're sharp and we can poke somebody by accident and so the scripture says like one person sharpens another so just remember that as we're talking about our community our talk about you know stepping out being relational especially with people that are quote, our second choices iron sharpens iron and chances are most of the time the people that could sharpen an iron the most is the people that are not your forte why i say that because if you hang out with people that are just like you you're not sharpening anything you're probably going to just pat each other in the back but like good job good job and you're not going to grow you're not going to be challenged but the people that challenge us the most are the ones who don't think like us who don't act like us who don't talk like us and they got different ways of thinking it doesn't mean that they're wrong it doesn't mean you're right it just means that you need each other to sharpen each other iron if not the scriptures wouldn't say it and so for those of us who are believer as we're maturing as we're growing to be disciple of christ that is my encouragement to you especially as we journey this month about just continue to mature and why is it important to gather why is it important to be, you know have your community have your village so that you got something to say so you have testimonies about growing in community because the scripture says it's iron sharpens iron so one sharpens another you know and yes some of us are going to have friendly fires we're going to accidentally poke one another because we're really intense all the wonderful things but that's part of building relationship is you're bound to get hurt 
because the loving thing you're exposing yourself to, I'm going to get hurt again. But it is so worth it to take a step of faith to say, you know what, I, I want that sisterhood. I want the brotherhood. I want to have those really good relationships that will grow us. And so I want to leave us with this thought. And I know today is really short, but it doesn't mean that like we're done. It means that I want you, yes, we're doing the ponder again. I want you to take the next few moments to really go to the Lord and ponder. Number one, who who are the people in my village? Who are the people in my village? And because I know Canadian already celebrate Thanksgiving, but this is American Thanksgiving uh, going on, is how would you show your appreciation to the village that you walk with? That's one. Two, who are the people that you're making friends with that might not be your first choice, but yet you have not embraced them to iron sharpens iron. I'm talking about the believers now, okay? That how are their perspective or the way that maybe their faith walk challenge you? Will you allow that to challenge you as well? That's number two. And number three, what are some of the confessions that you need to make individually with the Lord between you and Jesus? And then you go find a brother or sisters, depending on your gender, that you go and make your confessions so that someone can pray for you and you can pray for that person. And number four, are you going heart after God? Are you coming faithfully to gather the community? As the Lord says that it is important that we gather and we do not forget. So those are those four things. And we're going to put up on the screen and so that you remember because I know I just said it out and then you're going to be like, wait, what just happened? So we're going to put it up on the screen in the next few moments. Those four things, those are your challenge steps. And as Jeremiah leads into a song, I just want you to ponder. I want you to run to the Lord and to do that steps because as a mature believer, we're not going to sit around, but we're going to take some action steps. We're going to ponder with the Lord and we're going to go with Jesus at the same time. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for our church. I thank you for the men and women, the children, our young people, our old people, every single person who's part of this community. Father, I pray for courage to take the step of faith and to continue to be your disciple. Lord, I pray that you would give them the village. You would provide the community. Lord, I pray that they would not just be comfortable with where they are, but they would continue to faith out. They would continue to step out in courage. They would continue to ponder. And also, particularly in the confession part, Lord, that we would run to you in confession and also with trusted people that we can confess to. Jesus, I bless them that they would experience your supernatural power as they do that, and that we would sign, see signs and wonders and testimonies. So we thank you, Lord, and we're so grateful for what you you are and who you are in our lives and the people that you've given us in jesus name amen so go i bless you let's ponder let's do this part uh, for the next few moments and i'll see you next week Pull me in closer, close to your heart. May I be a pure reflection of all you are. Love that is patient, love that is kind, and love that keeps no offenses or wrongs in mind. Make me like Jesus, make me like Jesus. My heart is an open space for you to come and have your way. I'm open, I'm open. My heart is an open space. For you to come and have your way I am open I am open You're faithful to find me Right where I am Oh, even in my wandering You call me friend Mercy receives me and lifts me to my feet And I'm caught up in the wonder and mystery I'll know when Jesus, 
Hope that you enjoyed that time of quietness and pondering before the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Fiona, for that great message. And let's try to make some time this week to continue more in that, to continue hearing from the Lord, and to pray about the things that Pastor Fiona was sharing with us. And remember that you can always let us know if you have any prayer requests. We'd love to support you wherever you're at. But for today's Sunday service, that wraps things up. Hope that you have a great week. Remember that you are loved and you belong. Take care.